right guys so in this video we will be creating a virtual host in ubuntu 18.04 and if you guys don't already know a few linux things then this will be a little confusing for you so uh let's get started all right so first let's just create a file uh for your website for which you want to create the virtual host now the default directory is for uh, apache is uh its sites available uh, and so uh, let's say your files website's name is im.com so let's just create a im.conf now this file does not already exist uh, so when I do vim this im.conf will be created so let's just go there and let's insert first you do a virtual host and then let's say it's listening on port 80 that's the default http port and if your site is https that is 443 uh, let's just stick to 80 for now and here uh, you define the server name server name now this is nothing this is just uh, the name of the website so let's say uh, i am dot com and server alias alias is uh, like what else can this uh, website get be called uh, or for what other you know mostly mainly subdomain should I accept this thing so better I show you an example so this is like a server alias www.im.com so but if you want anything not just www if you want you or XYZ or anything to come to your website or, or this thing that you are creating this virtual host for then you just write asterisk so if you do asterisk then anything will uh, come to this folder that you are create uh, will be pointed to this directory that you're creating in this virtual host so let me just show you an example so this is a uh, server alias now these are the basic things uh, now uh, definitely there are a lot more things that you can do but this is the basic things that are done in a virtual host uh, server admin now server admin is uh, in case of error or something else that Apache wants to send an email to where where should you send the email so let's say admin at the rate I am dot com now the thing is uh, if you don't have an admin then you don't have to do anything even if you put wrong information here it will work so now this is the part where you define Define what? Define where, how, where, from where your files will be served. So that's it's, it's called document root. Now let's say your document root is in slash where slash www slash html slash uh, your im files slash public. So now if your server receives traffic for im.com. Uh, the files will be served from this directory and similarly for this now this is what I was talking about now if you put asterisk here uh, whatever comes with im.com like abc.im.com xyz.im.com files will be served from this directory all right so this is it for now and also let's let me put some other common things so this is a very important thing for debugging let's say uh, you have some PHP error or any other error so where will that log be saved so by default there is an Apache directory for error logs and that's where I'll be setting this to so this means this means the error logs will be saved in uh, Apache's log directory and then in a file called error.log so by default this Apache error log directory is uh, var slash log slash Apache 2 that's where it is now okay so yeah this is it also uh, one very mo important thing I'll just cover it immediately let me just go close it real quick now there's also one more thing let's say if you have a laravel or e or coordinator or any other file 
what these uh, frameworks do is they need an htaccess file in htaccess file they define like routing and other stuff so what that htaccess file does is uh, let me give you an example if there's a site called uh, La, let's say this is in uh, laravel site so if your link is im.com slash page one so by default uh, how it is uh, how it is parsed in Laravel or ordinator is it's like I am dot com slash index dot PHP slash a uh, page one so but that is that URL is not user friendly so what you need to do is you need to remove index dot PHP and let Apache handle it so your URL will be uh, I am dot com slash uh, page one but Apache will uh, render it as I, I am dot com slash index dot PHP slash page one but the part visible to user will be im.com slash page one so for htaccess uh, to be enabled so that you know uh, you can uh, write these rules in htaccess files uh, you need to do this thing that is directory slash where slash slash html slash im files uh, this is not file this is files and this is the directory and here you need to define allow override and set it to all so what this does is uh, it allows those kind of rules that we just talked about to be set up and this is it guys yeah this is it so just you just quit all right now now one more thing that you need to do is oh my god I did so many things and it turns out I didn't have the permission so I, what I'll do is I'll just copy it and before doing this I'll add sudo and what was my sudo password yeah I think I put it wrong All right, now I'll just paste it and write and quit. And now what you need to do is you need to enable the site. We just created the virtual host. Now you need to enable uh, enable it. So the command is sudo. If you're not root, then you have to put sudo, or and you must be a sudo user. A to e n site. It's Apache to enable site. And what was the name? And the conf. You enable it and then you reload it. and again you need to be a root or a sudo user you enable it and once it's enabled yeah it's reloaded now you can go to im.conf and serve your site all right this is it guys it's pretty simple and if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section below peace out